Hi Aquarius, it's L here to do a daily reading for you guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and get into it Aquarius. Thank you God for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so Aquarius, uh, off camera, I shuffled and I said, what does the Aquarius need to know? And we got uh, the angel answer card of improving health, romance, and then we got remain positive. We have a timeline of within the next few months. All right, so there could be something happening for you right now you're in a place of just waiting anticipation so they want you to remain positive the re the results of that thing or that relationship or whatever it may be um it could happen there could be some resolution within the next few months if you are in a relationship where well if you are just in any type of relationship especially a romantic one know that romance love um good feelings, good vibes, joy with one another can blossom, flourish, or just overall get better because we do have improving health. So it's like maybe something is coming from a place of the health was declining and now it is improving. This also could be in your finances. It could be in any aspect of your life. It could be physical health. So we do have improving health here. It could be in all three, you know, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, um, what we're going to do is clarify what these cards are, okay? And it's going to mean something different to each and every Aquarius that views the reading because everybody's not in a romantic connection. Maybe you want to be. It says remain positive within the next few months. Something could happen for you. Some of you could be waiting for large sums of money here, right? I don't know why that came up. All right, let's see what's going on here. All right, so we have temperance coming out. Yeah, so divine timing, patience, waiting, compromise, uh, coming together. Something is improving. It's like the magic happening behind the scenes from the divine, the, the alchemy. Um, again, the magic. It says if, if a relationship is going well, it will continue to go well. If it wasn't going so well, divine intervention may bring you and someone back together this card does not always indicate reconciliation but it does um bring uh, an energy of um, peace and kind of letting things just subside you know however that looks but it, it doesn't always talk about reconciliation let's see what romance is what do we have for romance oh the star card so Aquarius that's you um, the star card could talk about reconciliation you're in the middle of of it all some of you you just need to release baggage you know the hurt the pain the shame the when the star card comes out, it says that you need to get some things in alignment. It talks about your chakras, you know, being in alignment or you're out of alignment or you need to. This talks about compromise, um, making a turbulent situation more calm, peaceful, better. Patience, learning patience. And then romance, the star card. So it really talks about this could be with. A person that you already know you're already in a relationship with or somebody coming back from the past because these cards um, it talks about forgiveness getting on the right path also this could even be forgiving yourself maybe you put too much energy effort time into a specific person place or thing and it didn't yield you what you you um, you thought you would get you didn't get what you wanted this is also about releasing emotions, you know, holding it up, holding it in, bottling it up, not talking about it, not engaging, not uh, 
letting go of the baggage is not good for you. It's not good for the healing process. Somebody sees the beauty in you. And the beauty in you is the, I don't know, like the friendship aspect of the, of the relationship. Um, and also somebody sees like you're so forgiving. Like you can, you forgive easily. You move on. I don't know. Your love is big. It's expansive. It's, it's communal. They, somebody uh, is mesmerized by that also. Could be you, Aquarius. Remain positive. What is Aquarius? The Ten of Cups. Wow. So, uh, difficulty. And then you get, you know, a fortunate outcome with the Ten of Cups. You know, the universe sets the stage for happiness. The highest level of happiness for you. So, maybe something comes in for you. I did mention a large sum of money for some of you. Um, you could be presented with a contract from a friend, a relative, look over the details. This could be profitable for the both of you. This could be um, calling a truce also, coming to an agreement. It could be in business. It could be with family. It could be in relationships. Let's see. Clarify, remain positive and the Ten of Cups. What is remain positive? Wow, the nine of cups, whatever it is you are wishing, hoping, praying, hoping and wishing on a star for, it's definitely going to come into you. You get the star card and the nine of cups. So this is a big wish, big wish fulfillment here. It's going to bring you a lot of um, emotional stability. Maybe you, sometimes your emotions are tied to the dollar amount in your bank account. You know, if, it, if it's low, then your emotions are low and you have to learn to shift that energy. You know, because you don't want, because if you, if your emotions are tied to what it is you have monetarily, physically, then um, you're temperamental, temperance. You need to learn how to temper yourself, you know, through the waves, ride the wave. You need to learn to take the middle ground and not be so one-sided, fly off the handle or feel nothing at all you have to learn to, you have to take the middle ground while wow, you got the sun card coming out it's like the universe is really shining on you like things the star card talks about being on the right path the sun card talks about exposure vitality brilliance marriage baby it says that you're this will be uh, this is a time where your life is quote unquote in the sun or you're in the sun uh, this could happen for you around spring, summertime. Uh, this could be the sun, excuse me, the summertime of your life where things blossom. Because we know in the summertime, the the plants, the trees are growing, it's growth, it's, it's abundance. And this could be what you're coming into, a very abundant way of living, of existing, Aquarius. Um, because the universe is aligning things. Also, the sun card talks about alignment. Okay, those cards wanted to fall out let's see yes it's yeah some of you are waiting for sums of money waiting for the harvest waiting for that some good business deals or business news the king of cups is concerned about business you know again your emotions because he's the king of emotions being tied to you know your money seven of pentacles it's just like you're at a period of waiting and you just have to, you're trying to stay emotionally balanced. So you're trying to balance everything out in terms of your emotions. Uh, things are still going on around you, but you still have to maintain um, your position or your disposition. And it's becoming increasingly hard for some of you because it's like you want to fly off the handle. Um, you want to let it all go. You're tired of holding on. You're tired of waiting. The seven of pentacles. Um, but it says the harvest is near. It says that you've done the work. You've planted the seeds. Finish what you started also for some of you. If you have embarked on a creative endeavor. Somebody could be pining over you. So soaking, thinking of you. Having lots of emotions in terms of you. Uh, but they aren't telling you. They're taking a very passive approach. Yeah, Queen of Wands coming out. Uh, this is maybe how they see you. Um, see you as fiery action oriented and maybe they're more reserved and they're balanced and you can't read their emotions if this is about love yeah knight of cups somebody is definitely feeling some vibes for you okay 
Let's get some advice for the Aquarius moving forward. Could be dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aquarius, Gemini. Let's see. Something is going to get better. Yeah, Four of Pentacles, large sum of money, newfound wealth or stability, and you're trying to maintain it. Or some of you have just enough money. You're trying to stay at that place of, you know, I have this amount of money. You know, yeah, you're the seven of wands. You're trying to maintain your stability, maintain your balance, your your foundation here. You feel like I heard everything is due. Everything is due in terms of maybe expenses, bills. Everybody's coming at you, or maybe coming for you in terms of your money or this newfound stability. You're going to have to get creative. or Okay, so it's a yes answer if you're waiting for something, okay? But it could, it could take up to 1 to 11 days. It could come spontaneously with the Wheel of Fortune. Something just um, sporadically shifts for you. A shift of energy, a shift of fortune. So it's really good. Yeah. It says take your emotions out of this. Again, the Seven of Cups, Seven of Pentacles coming out. As soon as you unravel your emotions out of this thing, if you, if you stop allowing it, maybe um, the ebb and flow, the ups and downs, the roller coaster of your finances to take you through the emotional roller coaster, it says as soon as you just kind of withdraw or become, not even withdraw, but like withdraw your emotions from this, something happens for you. Like it just opens up here. Take your emotions out of it. Whatever this is. As soon as you become withdrawn, it's like you're too focused on it happening. It's almost like you're so focused on it that you're pushing it away. Whatever this is. I don't know what it is for you. Let's see. Yeah, you're too focused on it. Seven of Cups. Some of you are focused on things, but there's like an energy of procrastination or wishful thinking. Oh, okay, so this that's that wishful thinking. When I get this, or when this money comes in, or when I get this job, or when I do this, and it just keeps you in a place of um, stagnancy, or it keeps your emotions, you know, on that roller coaster. You gotta come, you gotta come out of this, and you just gotta know that it's going to happen in due time and divine timing. And a destined time for you. So once you do that, you'll be good. Yeah, you get a lot of cards of emotions. Queen of Cups. You got to withdraw. She she is withdrawn emotionally. Okay. Uh, it doesn't mean she doesn't have emotional emotions, but she is practicing emotional stability. So some of you need to practice that. You need to balance out some of your emotions. Also in terms of, uh, I hear I just keep hearing money. Yeah. When you least expect it, it happens for you. Whatever this thing is, the contract, the relationship, the coming back together. When you least expect it, it happens for you, Aquarius. But the universe is like, you're way too emotional about this. And that's not a good place to be in when you're trying to make decisions or you're trying to be... If you need to be level-headed about anything, or even if you're trying to manifest, okay? Because then it's coming from a place of ego, and you want it to come from a place of love and um, devotion and um, understanding. Also, make plans. Make plans with the Seven of Pentacles showing up twice. Also, keep in mind that, you know, money without... You know, purpose is just materialism. So have a purpose for your money. Have a purpose for what you're doing. Try to live life intentionally on, you know, on purpose, right? Uh, don't just go through life just whimsical. Have a plan, okay? Uh, that's what I'm getting here. Yeah, because it's like the universe is it's going to take you to another level. This is a leveling up. But before you, you you come here or you go there or you close out this chapter. Let 
before you do that, I don't see that, that you have to kind of do anything outside of have a plan. Like the, yeah, God, you know, God, universe, whatever you believe in. They just want you to have a plan. Like, we're going to bring you what you say you want, what you say you need in order to move forward. But what are you going to do with it? Is it going to be squandered? What What are you doing? Because you can squander this and you'll then be in that cycle of being you know, waiting or in need again. So have some well thought out, well organized plans in terms of what you're going to do and what the next chapter looks like and stick to the plan. Some of you are too whimsical in, in changing your mind a bit too much. Yeah. With that will of fortune to where, um, nothing ever really manifests, nothing ever really, um, has progression. It just, it's just, um, wishful thinking, procrastination, you putting your hand in it and then stepping out of it and walking away from it. Again, intentional and live life on purpose. All right. So Aquarius, this is what I have for you. Um, if it resonates for you, let me know how it resonates for you over in the comment section. Uh, if any of this resonates for you, uh, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Okay. Um, readings are 50% off right now. So take advantage of that. Use code 505050 off 50 OFF at the checkout and um, you'll receive that 50 off. Yeah, this is what I have for you. I'm just trying to see if I get any more messages, but I'm not. All right. So that's what I have. Thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.